Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic 99 and today we're doing a prediction for June for the fire signs which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Okay, I just want to mention that during June we have two eclipses we have one on the 5th to the 6th which is a pin let's get the word in right a penumbral eclipse which looks like a normal full moon, very bright. And then we have an annular eclipse on the 21st. And this is a solar eclipse. And the moon will be between the Earth and the Sun. And you get that beautiful light around the, and around the planets. So get some energies for the reading. Messages from the Ascended Masters. Choose peace. So that's beautiful. And from Al Moira, clear and shield your energy. So protect your energy always and yourself. So let's get the tarot. So it looks like there's lots of changes coming in. We have the tower, the chariot, nine of swords, the death card, three of cups, page of coins, king of wands, And the two of coins so it looks like there's going to be some sort of transformation this month in june okay and um, the tower is you know that comes in when there's changes needed in our lives maybe we're stuck in a situation you know we need change to come in and the divine intervenes and they can bring in these tower moments it's nothing to be fearful about because usually once the dust is settled, things can get better and you can make progress in your life into something better for you. And the chariot, this movement forward again, um, the image in this card is where you've got the negative and the positive, but they're, they're pulling in two different directions. So you may be torn, there may be a decision to make over which direction to go forward in the next month okay there could be a lot of worry sleepless nights in this situation but because this is a 10 this is coming to an end now that that situation has played out and you've got the tower as i say and the chariot coming in so that's things are changing for the better and again double confirmation we have the death card so whenever there's an end in this it's always followed by a beginning so something is coming to an end, but don't be fearful because it will be a fresh start for you. And then we have the Three of Cups. I beg your pardon, the Four of Cups. <laughs> Didn't see the other one. The Four of Cups. Yeah, so maybe, you know, sadness over lost relationships or things not working out for you. Okay, but then we have the, the Page of Coins coming in. So this is a fresh start, a new beginning, okay? Somebody could be making an offer to you coming in. And then we have the King of Wands. So this could be somebody you know or somebody new coming in. Um, obviously, this is a reading for fire signs. So this is Aries Leo Sagittarius. So this could represent you as the king. You know, you're fully mature in your power. You know, you have that stability in life. And you're, you're not scared to take passionate action and move forward in your life if needed. And then we have the two of coins. So there's some indecision. Um, you know, you're going to be granted a change in direction. As we saw the chariot, the main and the coins, there may not be a clear path. You may have a choice in which direction to go. So let's see what else we've got here for you. Okay. 
So we have the Six of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles. And Four of Wands. Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. So somebody's been working hard on their finances. You know, been taking action to move forward, get their finances stable um, as a base to move forward from. We've got the Queen of Cups and we've got the Knight of Cups. So this could be, talking of a relationship, this could be somebody coming towards you with an offer because we then got the Page of Cups. So it feels like somebody has love in their heart for you and they're going to take action. We've got the Ten of Wands here. So they're going to move forward very soon with that offer of love. It's unbelievable. All these readings are meant to be general and they've all turned into love readings. So I feel June is a month for love. Oh wow, we have the star card. So somebody's wish is coming true. Fulfillment. The tower again. The Devil, Temperance, the Death card again, the Hanged Man, and the Two of Wands, probably the Ace of Wands, so yeah. There's lots of changes coming in, okay? So don't be fearful because somebody's been making a wish here, a dream. This is a wish fulfillment coming true in a roundabout way. There's going to be changes coming in, okay? There could have been, you know, unhealthy behaviours or addictions in the situation. But this situation is divinely guided, okay? And there'll be fresh movement forward. And... At the moment, time's not quite right, so there's a little bit of a wait, and then we've got the Ace of Wands, so brand new beginnings coming in. So that's very positive. So let's get some love messages, some additional love messages. We've got passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I feel that is the Ace of Wands, someone coming in very passionately towards you. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So yeah, we had the devil card. Okay, so there could have been some sort of codependency issue here um, with you and a, per a person. And this could be, what, you know, maybe you've been in separation, you've been working on your issues. And then we have wedding. So wow, so some of you, you know, could be getting married at some point. I'm not saying in this month. But there could be a wedding on the horizon for some of you, okay? And someone's definitely coming forward with a love offer. They want you to meet close friends and family. Been missing each other time apart. So some of you could have been a time apart. And again, missing, longing for each other. A lot of missing each other here. Manifest love in your life. So I feel you've been doing that because you can see in June things are going to change in a big way for you so you carry on man with the manifestation and the answer is yes so if somebody's going to propose to you <laughs> i feel the answer is yes you have a telepathy link with this person and you're going to have a new home together in the future so that's for some of you obviously it's a general reading and <laughs> it may not apply to everybody okay 
then we have soulmate so there's definitely a soulmate connection here so that's beautiful abundance there's going to be abundance coming into your life all these changes coming in you know you've been working hard on your foundations and this manifestation is going to bring in abundance and birth so this could be the birth of a new relationship a new beginning in your life because we've got the tower card twice we've got the death card twice so after an ending there's always a new beginning so be positive this is a new beginning coming in for you this is like the phoenix rising from the ashes which is very appropriate for you fire signs and we've got listening so listen to your heart listen to your intuition listen to the divine their guidance is always there and if you need help just call on your angels to assist you at this time physical body maybe you need to do some work on your physical self at this time you know maybe you need to watch what you eat and drink maybe do some exercise to help you cope better with life to get rid of any stress or anxiety you may be feeling like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving so that's beautiful isn't it so yes always love yourself first and have that love for yourself and that will attract love into your life as well because like attracts like as it says the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love so love is the highest vibration in the universe and it's a very you know wonderful thing it can move mountains it, it can change people it can change lives so know this that only love is real appreciate this moment enjoy situation ev ev excuse me every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love so that's beautiful isn't it so yeah just work through you know whatever happens whatever comes your way just work through it live in the moment appreciate each day you know we can't change the past and we you know we're moving towards the future we all we have is now so live in each moment slow down pause and allow things to unfold so don't try and rush this rush this connection if it's a new connection coming in just take your time to go with the flow get to know each other very fully you know don't rush anything and then we've got a message i love you these are powerful words so these could be words being spoken to you as we say we've got the wedding card and we've got somebody with a cup of love coming in with the knight of cups coming in and the page of cups so there is definitely a message message of love on the way for some of you and some of you may be hearing these words spoken to you this month i love you so that's beautiful isn't it so thank you so much for watching um, I'm doing a giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers I'm giving away two decks that I've designed the details will be down below of all my other decks so please check out my shop um, if you want to enter into the competition just please like share subscribe comment down below and then you'll get entered into the competition so thank you for watching have a great month in June lots of love and blessings take care